So now that we've set up our bottom plane and we have the resolution kind of in place to start to move ahead, let's go ahead and just shut off our, and we can just delete our image plane actually. We can go to Window, Outliner, and select the image plane and just delete it. And we're going to go up to our perspective view. And what we're going to do now is if we want to show the grid again, uh, just to get an idea where the ground is, uh, we're just going to go ahead and select this and uh, bring it up a bit. I'm just going to bring it up. Number of units is fine here. And if we go to create, measures tools distance and hold V we can check the size of this and I'm just gonna go and scale it select it and scale it by 10 and hit F to get it into the frame if you ever see these green camera planes floating around you can go up to show and just turn off the flag for the cameras it doesn't actually get rid of them completely it's not hidden you just can't see them so great, now that we have these, I'm going to pull pull this uh, this plane up, and I'm going to grab all of these edges. I'm double-clicking all of these. I'm going to go up, and in the absolute transform, in the transform box, if you set it to absolute instead of relative, and type 0 in the Y. Right now my Y is up. That's going to snap those uh, edges down to 0 on the Y axis. So if we hit 3, we can get a smooth mesh preview of what this will look like when it's smooth. Remember, this is just a preview. But it's great because we can begin to get an idea of how it's starting to shape up. So, great. So we have the, and I think it might be a little bit too high. So I'm going to grab these vertices, and we can always uh, adjust this a bit later. But, so I'm going to just shape this a little bit here. I'm going to grab, double-click these edges and bring this down a bit. And that's why you could see that we needed to build this out a certain way so that we have uh, control over some of these edges and of the flow of the geometry here. I'm going to double click, double click those guys, scale them in a bit. Same thing with this guy. And just to get a sense of what this starts to look like. down a bit more and that's okay for now if you hit function uh, in the up arrow key or page up in the PC that's uh, the, the smooth mesh display preview so there's the smooth mesh preview which is number three but also the display level you can toggle whether it's uh, a little bit coarser or a bit more uh, high resolution. Great. I'm going to scale these out a bit. Actually, that was a little too tight. And we'll make some changes to this uh, to this later as well. But for now, that's good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to, now that we have our geometry here, we want to create a plane that's exactly the same size as this. So I'm going to use the Create Polygon tool under Mesh, Create Polygon tool, and I'm going to hold the V for the snap. And if you go clockwise, or sorry, counterclockwise, then you that always ensures that your uh, normals are going to be facing up. If you go to Lighting, turn off two-sided lighting, you can see that the underside is black and the top is uh, gray. So I'm going to actually flip these. These were flipped the other way. We can do that by going up to normals and then reverse in the polygon menu set. Great. So I always keep this on uh, just to make sure that we can uh, see the direction, uh, the surface direction, make sure that everything's going the right, uh, the right way. Great. So I'm going to bring this down, snap this guy here. So just pull up a tiny bit here. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to add a bit of resolution to this top layer, but we're going to define two areas which we want uh, these volumes that we're going to embed into them. So now that we have this one here, I'm going to put this in a layer. Double click layer one, just bottom mesh. 
LP for low poly. And you can reference it or template it, whichever one you'd like. And I'm actually going to keep it in display level one. Great. So now we just need to add a little bit of resolution here. And we can do that by using our insert edge loop tool. Or we can just go to mesh smooth and just make open the dialog box. Make sure that preserve is all off and you can hit apply a couple of times and that's going to start to add uh, resolution without it's smoothing it, but it's not um, smoothing out the edges here. So and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to create polygon primitive and grab a sphere. And I'm going to pull this guy up. And in the inputs under polysphere one, I'm going to change this to six. And I'm just going to scale it up a bit. So here's what we want to do. We want to embed two of these volumes. I just hit duplicate to bring this guy over. And I'm going to go up and grab my outliner again, window, outli window outliner. And we want to embed these two volumes somewhere in this, in this mesh here. And what we want is then to create the outer layer around them. So we're going to create these nested spaces that are going to be uh, embedded here. And then we're going to uh, make them interact with the bottom and we're going to boolean them out and clean it up a bit before we continue smoothing it. So we're going to do that in the next lesson.